What's up YouTube? It's Austin. It is October. I forgot the date. It's October 5th today. Um, and in two days, the day after tomorrow, I will not only be 11 months on tea, but also I will be in surgery. <laughs> so that's pretty amazing. Um, I just wanted to make a video here and like, I'm sort of in a weird position because I'm trying to be like in the last of the daylight. Um, <clears throat> and I have laundry hanging up over here and things are crazy. Um, but yeah, so, uh, I wanted to update you guys, um, cause I didn't make a weekend update video. Um, yeah, I don't have a lot to say in terms of tea updates, um, other than I have noticed, uh, I think my forearms are getting bigger. Weird. Uh, also, uh, my face is chubbier, I've found. Like, right here, I seem to be gaining, like, <laughs> So, I don't know what's up with that, uh, but my face is getting rounder. Uh, beanies look weird on me now, because I just have, like, a circle for a face. Um, anyway, that's all I got for tea updates. But, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about top surgery. Look at these bags under my eyes. Ugh. I have been, uh, not feeling that great the last couple of weeks, and not sleeping nearly enough, so I have crazy bags under my eyes. Okay, let's talk about top surgery. Um... It's the day after tomorrow. I'm freaking, I'm so excited. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, like, I'm, like, no more binders showing through my shirt all the time. That's awesome. I'm excited for that. Um, I guess I want to talk about the things that I'm scared about and the things that I'm excited about. Um, I don't know. I'm excited about everything. Um, <laughs> I just don't even know. So I, we're gonna, we're gonna, I get up tomorrow morning, and I get on a plane, and I fly to Cleveland, um, with my mom, she's coming with, um, and, uh, we're gonna stay, like, go to the place we're staying, and, like, do a Target run and get some groceries and stuff, um, and then, uh, yeah, uh, just sort of, like, like, get settled, and then Wednesday morning, I get up, and I go to the surgery center, um, I'm having surgery with Dr. Medali, um, and he's been really great in this whole process, and so I'm feeling really good about him being my surgeon, and his office has been really great. Everybody that I've talked to there, all the nurses and everything are super nice. Um, so, yeah, Wednesday is surgery, and then I get out of surgery and I'll be all doped up for a little bit. Um, so I may take maybe, like, some pictures or something, or maybe a little bit of I probably won't take video the day of, but you never know. <laughs> but maybe I'll put some clips of some stuff together. Poor Ari, my girlfriend is still sick and she's like hacking up a lung in the background. Um, <laughs> she, ugh, it's been kind of a struggle this last week and a half because she got like really flu sick. And I've just been, like I had the same thing, but I got better and she got worse. So um, it's been hard. I've been really germophobic all week just trying to stay healthy for surgery so anyway I'm getting off topic I'm sorry guys I'm just so excited and I'm everywhere and I have to pack and like things are happening <sighs> things I'm excited for not wearing binders anymore obviously um having better posture <laughs> um <laughs> and like not having a back that hurts all the time Wearing dude clothes without having to worry about my chest being too big. Wearing button downs without them being like weirdly shaped so that it's too tight on my chest but too loose on the whole rest of my body. Um, <laughs> just like being, ugh, I can't even explain the, how good it's going to feel to just get out of the shower and just not have to feel like I'm hiding my body from myself, <laughs> if that makes sense. To not have to feel like I'm hiding from myself or from anybody else. Because right now, I feel like I have to conceal a piece of my, like my physical body, um, and I hate that because I like I'm so not concealed in every part of my life that I hate that I feel like I have to do that and it's not because 
Like, the reason that I feel like I have to do that is because of everybody else's idea of what a guy looks like, you know? Um, so it's that, like, conforming to an idea of what a, a certain gender is supposed to look like, you know? So it contributes to a lot of, like, just shame and bad feelings. Even on days when I'm like, whatever, like, I can just not think about it. I still have to think about how other people think about it, and that's why it's so frustrating. But, so yeah, to just be able to be myself and to be not constrained and not feel like I'm hiding and to go running and not be like, God, my chest is moving. <laughs> to, to go swimming uh, not have to worry about that, to wear tank tops, and not have to worry about if you can see my binder. Um, I'm just so freaking excited. I'm excited, like, I know it's gonna be painful to, like, this first part of the recovery period, especially with, like, um, if you're not familiar with how top surgery works, with a double incision procedure, you get drains put in to keep from, like, uh, excessive fluid building up in your chest, so those kind of hurt, I have heard. So... But it's worth it. It is absolutely 100% worth it, and I'm excited. So, okay, that's what I'm excited about. What am I scared about? I'm a little scared about the pain, um, but not really. Not not at the end of the day. Like, if there's a lot of pain, I have painkillers. And I don't really like taking meds very much, but I will take them because that's how my body has to heal. I have to be comfortable enough to be able to rest to let my body heal. So, I'm going to do that. Um, Scared a little bit about, uh, I'm a very, I'm a caretaker sort of personality and it's going to be weird for me to let my mom take care of me a little bit and let my girlfriend take care of me a little bit. Ari's coming later on in the week, um, cause I'm going to be in Cleveland for a week. So Ari's coming about halfway through, uh, and switching with my mom. So yeah, I'm a little scared of being taken care of in a sort of weird way, uh, of like, not of being taken care of, but of letting myself let go of control, I guess is what it is. So, I'm a little bit scared of that, a little bit scared of the pain, um, a little bit, uh, not scared of, but I'm gonna miss being able to go like this, because <laughs> I won't be able to do that for a couple of weeks. While I'm healing, uh, I won't be able to like stretch very much. Probably gonna miss the rest of biking season. It's probably gonna be cold by the time I can bike again. Um, but that's okay. Basically, it's like I I have things that I'm worried about, and, or not worried about, things I'm nervous about. But like everything is outweighed by how excited and happy I am. So, yeah, things are gonna be so great. And thank you for being here to witness that and um if you contributed to the to my top surgery fundraiser thank you for being a part of that and for helping me get to this point because i cannot believe i'm here it's the day after tomorrow gonna have surgery it's awesome so okay i'm gonna stop talking because i'm gonna lose all the light um but i hope you guys are all doing well i will see you Next time I see you, I will be post-op. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Alright guys, I'll put some stuff up as soon as I have some things to put up. <laughs> Alright, bye.